All right, pulling out of Seminole Canyon. There's our camp spot. That's where we were the last couple of days. Bye. Make sure we didn't forget anything or anybody. <coughs> This is a cool spot. I love how quiet it was. So quiet. A little windy the last couple of days. Actually quite windy. It'd go away and calm down. You think it's going to be nice and calm the rest of the time. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the wind would blow. Shaking the trailer. But still a nice spot. Awesome view. I don't know how easy you can see that. But man, that's a couple hundred miles easy. And the, railroad history and yeah, pictographs. Right. The and Southern Pacific came through here. And there's yeah. pictographs. And the canyon down there is... Amazing. We took awesome. a quick hike and we didn't get to film it, but boy, it's still really fun. Uh, this is kind of more just a stop on the way. That is beautiful. White people, but they have a truck. <laughs> There's a couple people came in last night. They were riding ten speeds. I was very, I was very impressed. I like the color of a shirt. <laughs> All right. I don't have to check out or anything, right? Just no. So this place was very highly recommended on all the RV sites for reviews. And everybody said it was only $8 a night for that primitive premium camping spot that we had. But nobody said that it was $8 a night plus $3 per person per day entry fee <laughs> to the park. So it's not really $8 a night. And that can add up depending on how large your family is. So It's not just $8 per night. Yeah, so it was another nine dollars for us. Yeah. Three six nine, yeah. Seventeen dollars a night. Yeah, it costs it costs more to get in the park per day than it did for the campsite. And that's no hookups. Yeah, no hookups. That's that's yeah, dry no camping hookups. boondock. There is hookups up over there. They're they're nice. There's some of them are small. For a, there's only a few rigs or spots long enough for long rigs. Most of them are more set up for little tent camping or vans, class C's or something like that. Little campgrounds, typical rather typical of state parks. Yes. But the primitive camping was great. I, I really enjoyed it. You're well spread out from the other person. Pull, all pull through sites. Beautiful views. And really a cool view. Every night, just a really great view. Oh, I didn't get the picture of my oven. No. Oh, I didn't know what was going to happen. Nice oven. I like the oven. All right, so where are we going today? Fort Stockton. Fort Stockton. Why do we pick Fort Stockton? Because it's on the way to Carlsbad Caverns. That's a good enough answer for me. Yes, it's another stopover. We actually wanted to go to Big Bend National Park, but you know what, this time of the year, it's crowded. They're all sold out. There was nothing we could get to get in there. There's no spaces available. I'm sure we could boondock, but really when we looked at it and said, you know, we wanted to do, uh, we wanted to do both, Big Ben and Carlsbad Caverns, but really we just decided to just do one and keep moving. So we're going to just do Carlsbad Caverns, so we're on our way that way to the caverns, because you know us and things underground. Caves. Caves. All about the caves. All about the caves. So we're on our way to Carlsbad Caverns, eventually. Apparently for Big Ben, it's only $12 for... 14 day pass. So you yeah, go and camp back. 14 days before in Big Ben. So that's on our list to come back and do. That's way down south, very remote. Very remote. But we'll just have to save it for another time. Got all the little bottle brush trees.
that's some old. Wow, that's really wow. old. Wow. 1905. Look at this one. Whoa. That's cool. All the art and stuff out front. That's cool. That's a whole. That's an old building. Wow. Fun town. Fun town. Really, this is old Texas. Anderson Tire and Feed. It's like an old gas station. Hair care and. It's an old gas station. Woman. Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> you can't get away from Girl Scout cookies. Sanderson Bank. Well, that's a that's a bank from the '60s and the '70s. Oh, it's old buildings, though. Yeah, I know. Awesome. Output. That's okay. out, out, outpost. Propane. Okay, yeah. that's a that's super That's fun cute town. town. Yeah, cute. Here's the stripes. Yeah, that's really fun. That'd be wow. fun to go check it out. There's a lot of history there, I found some of those oh, old buildings. Can we stay here? Then go stay at that park. Right there in Fort Stockton. Yeah, it's only 60 miles. Is it 60 miles from here? Yes. Yeah. Well, in here, let's talk about it. Somebody else already in here. You just really just pull in and stop right there, dude. Desert Air Motel, the 60 sign. I checked the inside, everything's fine. Things are working. Crazy storm. storm footage here. semi here upside down and then there's one over there so like part of them's over there and part of them's here or two of them and that's a heavy see the heavy wrecker like in yeah yeah these road truckers because they yes. would call out Texas Department of Transportation to work on it. Whoa, this is some messed up stuff. Look, two trucks. That truck's upside down. This truck's mangled into the other one. Oh, oh man, yeah. <clears throat> it's a head-on collision? 
Looks like a head-on collision. Man, I hate doing this, guys. We're really making me need a trailer. It is a head-on collision. That's a head-on collision, semi to semi. Oh, yeah. Semi to semi, do you get it? Yeah, I think so. So there's the other part of the semi right there. Oh, geez. That's his engine yeah, right that's, there. That's, yeah. It's semi to semi head-on collision. Yeah, you should see the smashed windshield of the red truck behind it. to go on that side. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go there. Let's go all the way over here. Yeah. Let's go in front of him over there. That's yeah, probably. they're on the edge and that's fine. Want to have the door open up? Yeah, out into the weeds, how about? Yes. Like they have. Yeah. Yeah, anemometer on there. Yeah. They said there's a lot of cows coming through there at night. Good. 